So Nirvan, tell me, how did you get involved with Kane? Um, it was the last day of summer and I have a 96 Corolla that had a broken door handle. Mm -hmm. So I was just looking for a door handle and I came here in Coil Heights and stopped this random auto parts store and I met Kane. And he had an arcade there and I, I bought a fun pass. It was pretty random. And how, how did you play? How was the, the first, first time you played? I was totally curious. Uh, he told me I could get 500 turns for a $2 fun pass, so I bought a fun pass. And uh, I was playing, playing all the games. They were, they were great games. They were mm -hmm. really fun to play. And how did you make the, the flash mob? How, how did it work? Um, if you've seen the short film, you know, basically I put up a Facebook page and I invited people on Facebook to come and play. And then I posted it on Reddit, which is a website, and I hit the front page of Reddit. Uh, and it was also shared by a Facebook page called uh, Hidden LA, who reposted mm -hmm. the post, and they have hundreds of thousands of fans. Mm -hmm. So, uh, on the day of the flash mob, hundreds of people came. Mm -hmm. And how have you been helping him now? You talk about a foundation? Yeah, when I posted the film, uh, I set up a scholarship fund, a PayPal link, where mm -hmm. people could donate it on his website. I made a little website for him at canesarcade.com. Mm -hmm. And the goal is to raise $25,000. And the first day the video was up, it raised over $60,000. The next day it was over $100,000. And then we set up a foundation to help more kids called the Kings Arcade Imagination Foundation. Mm -hmm. And we got a matching grant, a challenge grant, up to $250,000 from the Goldhurst Foundation. So every dollar being donated to Kane's scholarship fund, up to $250,000, the Goldhurst Foundation is matching. So we're starting a foundation to help more kids. Mm -hmm. And what's Kane doing now? Is he working new machines? Do you help him? Yeah, do you know, Kane's machine? running his arcade. He's got more volunteer staff now, uh, more customers coming. This is a school from San, San Jose? Oh, from San Jose, who just drove up here. Uh, earlier today, we had about 80 people on bikes, uh, on a bike tour of the city, come by, play. Mm -hmm. um, families come with their kids, they build games, Kane's making new games, mm -hmm. and uh, running his business. Are you here uh, every weekend? I come every weekend that I can. Um, Kane's also been touring around, so he went up to San Francisco with his arcade, to the Exploratorium, and uh, so every every weekend that he's in town, uh, he's been here and I'm trying to come out. Mm -hmm. And how this whole uh, fame, uh, fame has been his head? How is he dealing with this? He's super level. Um, he doesn't see fame like an adult. He sees, I mean, to him, fame just means he has more customers for his arcade. Mm -hmm. and that's all he's ever wanted, so he's really happy to have people come play his games. Cool. Thanks. Thanks a lot.